north side of the school. Gunfire inside Arapahoe High School. We have two students that were injured. One of those students. A 15-year-old student uh, who suffered a significant gunshot wound is currently listed in critical condition. Fighting tonight for her life. Our thoughts and our prayers are with that dear young lady and with her family. Some students coming face to face with a gunman. I was just in the library. He, he, Ripped open the door, uh, shotgun in hand. Fortunate to get away from the shooter. But we were all lucky to get out as quick as we did. Questions tonight, how a place of safety and security. Like one of the safest schools in America. Could be an active crime scene. I can never think that could happen to you. Hundreds of families in our community tonight, thankful to be together. I was really happy. Best thing ever, to know that she's okay. Right now, here's the latest. After the shooting at Arapahoe High School, this student, Carl Pearson, walked in just after 1230 armed with a shotgun looking for one person. The librarian who we've identified as Tracy Murphy. Murphy got out of the school unharmed. Pearson then encountered a 15-year-old student and shot her before killing himself. The Arapahoe County Sheriff just confirming that the teenage girl is the only victim of the shooter. Tonight, she's hospitalized in critical condition. Investigators are still combing through the crime scene. The sheriff saying there were two explosive devices in the school, one of them set off. And this just into the 7 newsroom. The bomb squad just entering Carl Pearson's home in Highlands Ranch in the past five minutes. Neighbors saying that Pearson lived in this home with his mother.